In part two, for some reason, uh, here's the second part to our, our video cutout on the last one there. But So I just uh, worked this down. This is still quite warm up here. Okay, I just did the bleed out, so I kind of want to leave that alone for a bit. So I'm going to do some other tasks to let it cool down. I'm going to trim this. I'm going to be doing that anyways. Trim that down to size. Make that look a little nicer. Okay, I'm going to do some work on the bottom lap now. Let this all cool off a bit. So definitely want to always connect your bleed out. So lift this sucker up. Get some heat there. Same on the other side, connect our bleed out over here. Now I'm putting most of my heat up here. Okay, and that's gonna that's gonna do kind of a kind of a wispy thing like this. It's still gonna get it warm down here, but if you if you torch traditionally like this, it's just gonna blow all the heat back here. Like I don't know if you, if you don't know about torching, the flame acts a lot like water. So if it was a powerful jet stream of water, that's how you practice moving your flame, right? So you just got to know where the flame's going and what it's doing. You basically have to be a mad scientist. Okay, one eight to a quarter inch bleed out on all laps. I'm gonna use my trusty one. Get that sealed right away. Okay, don't overpress or I think I was a little light over here, so I'm not gonna press it down. I just got it warm. I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. Oh, light my shit. Push it down with your fingers, with your wand, with your wheel, whatever you need to do to make that happen. The fingers can kind of leave little thummy prints, but whatever. Okay, and now I'm ready to work up here. Remembering I don't want to put a bunch of heat on that wall and make that look shitty, so I'm going to focus my heat over here. Bring it out all. Boom. Okay, now there's a ton of ways to skin the cat, you know. I know a lot of you pro roofers out there just use your trowel. So we'll show you this next corner. If we move over here, Throwing this one here, just a continuation of the information I already showed you. Boom, we're going to get length. We not only need to cover this area, but we need to wrap as well. So I'm going to give it an extra three inches here. Boom. Got that. Flip it back around. I always want my factory edge to be the one visible. So flip it around, get it to size here. The bare minimum, bare minimum wrap there. You need at least three inches, and that's what I got. Cut that tab. Okay, that's where a junction's gonna be. Hold this down. I've shown you guys this in another video, but repetition's a great teacher. So that's worked in, dry fit. And then we go with the torching. <laughs> So, I mean, once you learn how to strip, usually most people learn how to strip with peel and stick stripping. The principle is the same. It's just, you're now applying it with the torch rather than adhesive. I'm going to cut my corner in, figure out where that is, and join my bleed out. <laughs> sealed push out some bleed out here oh yeah beautiful okay that transition looking nice that mic's already good double seal whenever you're sealing with the trowel or anything you should always seal and then push so the first swipe with your trowel is to seal second one's to push out the the bleed out, which again, you want an eight to a quarter inch everywhere, if possible. Okay, bottom lap here. If you're using your trowel, you want your trowel to be hot and clean. This is pretty clean. If it's dirty, it's gonna muck up there. If your trowel is too cold, when you go to swipe, it's gonna drag the granules. It's gonna make a mess of up here. So you well, always want your trowel hot and clean. Connecting our bleed out. 
very important. I'm going for the going for the lap here. Wipe and push. Oh, that was a terrible example. So if you didn't get it quite hot enough, you can use your lunge. Give it some extra pressure. Oh, that's bare minimum. Nope. Uh, sometimes when you're a chicken shit like me, you'll have to go back in a bit. Give it some more heat. Make sure the bleed out is good everywhere. You want fully adhered. Fully adhered. Look at this, it's still no good. Trahan, you're not making yourself look awesome. But I am showing how you can fix your fuck ups. You want to bleed out? Simple. Get in there, some heat, <laughs> and a lunge. Boom. Boom. Okay. Make sure we're all adhered up in there. And our tabs. <laughs> And I'm embed the granules. Don't embed the granules, it just doesn't stick right, you know. Okay. Embed the granules so you got a tar on tar action. Okay, moving right along. Remember, I said we can't just keep going? Well, I'm going to do it because I'm freaking awesome. Okay, let me grab a piece here. Just start with this. Peace. Look, it's cooling down right now. I'm taking my time. Maybe I'll grab a sip of coffee, something like that. But I am going against my own advice here, putting a piece on while it's still warm. Okay, so we're gonna try not to muck it up. So for size, this lap cannot be within eight inches of your cap lap. So you need to have a stagger. Basically, your second ply is covering your laps. That's making everything awesome. Okay. So if I go here, that's not good. That's pretty close, right? What is that? Yeah, you know, that would actually technically be acceptable. That's eight and a half inches. But just to make things better, better too much than not enough, I'm going to cut, cut some of this beast off. Now, corners like this, I'm going to exaggerate. If this was a tall wall, just the way buildup works and everything, if you cut your, your, your line straight and you try and install that, you're... Your edge is going to go uh, like that for whatever reason this edge always goes out at an angle so if you get yourself a length like if i was trying to find a length whatever if this is my length like this i want it to be at an angle where it goes bigger it, it gets bigger so this is an exaggeration you see that so that's how i want to install my edge that will ensure that this is a tight fit and it doesn't bag out okay so Get it on my line, dry fit. How are we looking there? See, it was a little too exaggerated. So I'm gonna just pull it back just a smidgen. See how tight that gets? That's beautiful, right? All right. So again, I'm gonna cut my bottom edge at a 45. So we're at the top of the roof. That's how we like to have our corners look like that. Beautiful bevel. And then, again, I don't want to screw this corner up, so i got to be really careful with how much heat I throw over there. Still want a full seal. <laughs> Pointing my torch away. I'm, in there, I'm quick with it. You see how quick I was? I just blasted and, and got in there, okay? There's enough heat to get it stuck. Okay. This is basically your first one is always just a set your piece in place and then you torch around it right you torch this in you torch this in but this first one is just to get this transition which is the most important on stripping what leaks is this it'll be because this isn't tight and water's able to get in the lap uh or it's because people don't torch it enough and there's no bleed out when you see bleed out there water can't get in but if there's no bleed out like say i had this torch to here and water could get in here that'll that's fine right a lot of people walk away from that but what happens is over time, water will wait, work, work its way in there. It's winter time, snow, water gets under, it'll freeze and just, it'll just start prying the roof apart. That's why you want it to be a hundred percent. So it lasts a lifetime, 25 years. 
All right, so we're gonna continue. I've blabbed enough to keep this cool so I can feel confident and well, I'm gonna still work over here on this side. Let's work that half. Get my wheel in there. Where's my wheel? It's a long video. I hope maybe there's some commercials you all get to watch. Well, in between times, I'll just make some revenue. That'd be beautiful. Donations accepted. Uh, you can find me on Twitch as well. I'm a gamer. Cody Trahan. Thank you. All right, got that. Cody Trahan on Twitch. Give me a like, sub, follow. Whatever you do, I'm a noob streamer. Noob streamer. But I'm an affiliate. Yesterday. It's exciting news. Alright, so I got that. Look at that's beautiful. It isn't burnt out yet, so I'll just keep sealing this. Okay, with the seal and back for the push. Look at that. That's a perfect bleed out. Look at that. My god. This, I always have to use my ones, just the edge, because I'll mark that up. But look at all that bleed out. Perfect. That's like, that's mint. That's as good as it gets right there, okay? Now time to come down here and work on this. See, you got bleed out right there. I need to connect my bleed out. Here we go. Little tap tap. A lot of people might be surprised at how little heat you need to actually make it bond. You know what I mean? Just to look at that stuff. Okay, and now we're going for the gold here, folks. I'm going to bring that blue down a bit more. Okay, beautiful. Come on. I'm going to show everybody how freaking awesome I am. Bleed out, bleed out, bleed out. Okay, and then the last bit, you get your wunge in there. Push that out. Push it out, push it, push it, push it, boom. Fucking ones drop right there, boom. That's as good as it gets, folks. Like, follow, subscribe, tell your friends. Tell me what other videos you want to see. I'll make them. Cody out.